A follow up to a speaker's corner report we told you about last month. We are hearing more complaints now about engine replacement issues involving a major auto manufacturer. Back in August, Speaker's Corner told you about an Oakville couple whose EcoBoost engine failed in their 2019 Ford F-150 pickup truck. That's a $60,000 paperweight. They spoke out after waiting eight months for an engine replacement and got one after our story aired. But they're not alone in being upset with how Ford has responded to engine issues. I was driving, the vehicle started shaking. Um, aggressively, uh, warning lights came up on the dash. And that happened just weeks after Mark Mitchell bought a new 2024 F-150 equipped with a power boost engine. Since it's under warranty, Ford replaced the engine for free. July 31st, my truck finally gets fixed. Uh, I leave the dealership, travel five kilometers down the road, and my engine fails again. Truck shakes violently. He's been waiting since July for a second replacement engine, though the company has given him a loaner. I started uh, contacting Ford Canada looking for an answer to where this part was coming from and when I could expect my vehicle back. Um, Ford was less than helpful. It's unfair. This is Janet and Mike O'Callaghan from Cambridge, lifelong Ford customers. Mechanics determined their two liter EcoBoost engine in their 2017 Ford Edge needed to be replaced after 130,000 kilometers. They go from 217,000 kilometers to 310,000. So it shows that the engines, and these are original engines, it shows that they can work. But it hasn't for them. The couple says they've tried, but so far have been unable to get any discount or financial relief from Ford to replace the engine. We don't fit the criteria because of kilometers and age of the vehicle. We were devastated because $9,100 is the cost to replace it. According to technical service bulletins posted by the U.S. National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, there are known problems with EcoBoost engines in the O'Callaghan's vehicle and model year. It's a design failure. In 2014, they changed to an, an open block cooling system, and that's the part that's failing. They feel given this, they're due some financial relief. We asked Ford to respond to both the O'Callaghan and Mitchell cases. Shortly after Ford told the O'Callaghans they'll take another look at their request, Mitchell is still waiting. But the company is speaking out about issues with other vehicles. Just this month, they issued a recall of nearly 91,000 EcoBoost engine vehicles made in 2021 and 2022. It's a massive recall. And what they realized was the engine intake, where you have the air fuel mixture come in to the the cylinder was breaking apart. Tim Esterdahl is a U.S.-based automotive journalist and podcaster. He says while there have been past consumer reports of engine issues, he wouldn't say Ford has a widespread engine problem. I mean, there's just a big company that you're going to see these massive recall numbers these days, and you're going to have a problem here and there. It's just, it's just statistics. Things do happen. It's not always design failure. It's not engineering failure. It's not this. It's just, no, it's just a bad supplier issue or a bad part. Which both Mitchell and the O'Callaghan's can buy, but it's Ford's response to their cases leading them to speak out. A multi-billion dollar company cannot track and tell a customer when their part is going to arrive. I am astounded. As always, if you have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into, reach out by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.